Your forecast first for tonight, areas of low clouds and fog with an overnight low of, oh, doggone it. <laughs> I've not got the hang of this computer yet. I apologize. Tonight, low clouds and fog, 31, it's been one week, uh, 31 degrees for an overnight low. Maybe spots where the roadways are freezing, where they are wet right now, winds light. Tomorrow, a high temperature of 39 degrees with low clouds and fog, a dark and damp day. May see a little bit of drizzle coming out of the fog at times. Winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our high today, only 38 degrees, almost 10 degrees below average. We have not spent much time with below average temperatures in the past several months. 33 to start the day. We had 12 hundredths of an inch of precipitation out at the airport. Only a trace of snow reported officially in Spokane. Right now it's 35 degrees in Spokane. We're just a degree away from the dew point. As that temperature drops to the dew point, that's when we get the condensation and the fog. And this temperature does not drop below this temperature, although we do have some drier air coming in so that Dew point will drop a little bit. 36 in Coeur d'Alene with clear skies and a dew point at 32. Pictures of snow to show you. This one from Tower Mountain from Nadine's friend, Denise uh, Fisher this morning. Coming down pretty good up there at elevation. Now this is some video from Gerald Barnhart from Inland Northwest Soccer News. And this was taken today at the Big Sky Soccer Tournament. I'm sorry the Eagles lost today. Montana advances. Uh, but it evidently was sticking on the field at times. And again, that was uh, taken today in Moscow. And Cindy Murphy of Spirit Lake sends this picture of the snow and one more from Kathy Nowak taken in Potlatch, Idaho. The precipitation tapering off. It'll be coming to an end later tonight. Dry conditions overnight with a northerly flow. We are going to see the low clouds and fog developing overnight. A gray day tomorrow then a change in our weather pattern as we get into the weekend. We get more of a westerly flow, bring our temperatures back up to above average readings, 50 on Saturday. Late Saturday, we have a chance of some rain moving in, a good chance of rain overnight Saturday and into a showery Sunday. And then uh, we cool back down again with temperatures in the 40s. Wouldn't rule out a reappearance of some of that light snow. A lot of people are very excited to see that snow today. I, so I love the pictures. Yes, I was excited. I, yeah. saw some, I was up at Ferris High School and saw some. So I saw ooh, big flakes mixing yes, with the rain today. Flakes, yes. Just around noon or right before. So that exactly. was pretty cool.